Hello everyone, how are you doing? Uh, in this actually tutorial, I want to show you actually how to create an application where you're going to be controlling the LED player. If you click start, we start playing, and then if you click start again, it will play even faster. Okay, let's stop it, and actually I'm going to show you how I created this application. First thing, what we're going to do is actually connect to your Mini 2440. You can use PuTTY or you can use Hype Terminal or any other way to connect via serial port. I use PuTTY, I'm just get used to it. Um, first thing, what we're going to do is actually launch this command where uh, you're going to actually um, run the LED program, the LED player program that is on the Mini 2440. Uh, if you click stop, it will stop the LED if you type this line. And if you click start, it will start again. This actually, this application is being launched every time you turn your Mini 2440. It launched this application. So if you start, and um, it will create this application. I mean, we launch this command on um, the Qtopia program. First thing, we, what we're going to do is actually modify the um, Hello program we did previously in the previous tutorial. Um, just a few modifications, nothing, nothing complicated. First, what we're going to do is actually modify the user interface. And here, before we remember, we had the click me, um, we just move to the side, and we're going to name it Start LED, Start. And we're going to create another button where we're going to call it stop, it's push button number two. So we have push button number one for start, push button number two for stop. Um, next thing we actually, we just going to right click and put select slots and we're going to change what it used to be previously, it used to say hello, so we're going to change that to start LED. And we click OK. Oh, no, I'm sorry, and we're going to create a new one that's going to be called Stop LED for the, the other button. And here what we have to do after we create this, um, these two new slots, we have to connect them to the application. So we're going to click on the red and blue connection, click on the button and drag it to the form. And then we select click and start LED, push button number one, click OK. Same thing with the stop, and um, we on click, we'll stop, uh, we run that, that slot, and click OK. That's pretty much it, the changes we have to do for the user interface, we save it, and now we have to do a couple other changes, um, the, we don't need this, uh, we can create a new one. We're going to um, actually create a new um, modifications on the hello.h and on the, um, not this one, we're going to modify the, the, um, the hello.cpp. First thing, what we're going to do is to say the hello form, um, is to launch the command that says um, say hello, but remember we change it to start LED. Um, and we're going to change the label to start LED. And same thing what you're going to do for the hello, uh, for uh, for the stop LED. Copy and paste, stop LED. Same way as we did the, uh, in the GUI. And stop LED, we change the message label. And then after you do these changes, uh, and if you save it, and but first after that you have to actually on hello that age uh, make those changes too. And if you put the third toggle, um, start LED. And then the next one say stop LED. Copy and paste. If you run out, just save and build the whole thing. Um, it will work, but actually. It won't actually launch the print. It will, won't, will have connections to to the LED player. So that's what we're going to add to right now. Um, to to launch actually the to launch the program, what we're going to do is go to system and type.
at the same line we did before. Um, I will put this whole application on the link down below so you can save it so you don't have to attack this whole thing or you can do it, it's up to you. But it's a very simple modification, it's nothing to do. So same thing as we did before, same command line, ap start, uh, system, and here stop. LED stops. Okay, now that we type system, we actually type, have to type, um, include a header file that's the standard library. If we, we don't add this, it actually won't recognize system. So standard is the dlib.h. And that's pretty much all the changes we have to do. So. Um, start LED, stop LED. Now we should save it and close it. And we're going to just actually build the program same way as we did before when we did actually the hello uh, program. So we change directory to arm Utopia hello and build. Okay, like that. Now we came out with a new binary file. So we connect to this uh, to the mini tube 440 via FTP. Good. Next, up to Topia. And what we're going to do now is replace the old hello program. The, that was before the old application replace we don't have to make any other changes but before you launch the program make sure actually uh, you give permission to it because it will not launch if you don't do this these modifications and like we did before ch mode every time you install a file you have to do this and we install every time you install a binary file. A plus X. Hello. And that's it. And we go to the program. You don't even have to restart it. Start. Stop. Okay guys, thank you for watching and um we making more videos about Mini 2440 if you like, okay?